What up, y'all? It's your boy Zay, and I'm back with another video. And today, I'm gonna actually show y'all how to do something right to a car, bro. And all you're gonna need is a little thumb drive. All right, so a lot of people ask me, when you get in my car and start up, I got like a startup video, startup sequence. I got a custom wallpaper on my infotainment system. A lot of people be like, how you do that? How you do that? So today, I'm gonna show y'all. It's just a little simple trick. It's not even a trick, really. It's just like, it's kind of like downloading the app up there. It's called Honda Hack, and let's get into it. All right, so look. The first thing you need to do is download Honda Hack. I'm gonna show y'all how to do it. It's two versions you can get. You can get the pro version or the basic version. And what you do is you pull it up on like your little web browser on your infotainment system, and then you download it through there. And then what you can do is you can take a YouTube video you like, a video you recorded, some photos you like, add music, whatever you want to do to them. Put it on your phone, from your phone, you can send it to the computer. And from the computer, you put it on your thumb drive. And just like that, you, you ready to go. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to um, settings. You can go to Honda Hack right here. This is Honda Hack, I already got it installed. Right here, you can install apps and uninstall them. You can install apps online. The way you can do that is you can connect your hotspot on your phone or you can use the house Wi-Fi, whatever you wanna use and connect your infotainment system to that. You can install, uninstall apps. But I will say, the more apps you install, here goes startup settings right here. The more apps you install, the slower the infotainment system will go. And then we're gonna go ahead and click startup video. We're gonna select the local video. And then here we go, one right here. I'm gonna let y'all see it. That's the one we're gonna use. You just click use, and then it's already set up. All right, so we're gonna get out of that. And they already got some ones up here that you can use, but I ain't gonna show you all that because I don't wanna add another one, then have to do this all over again. But now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go to our gallery. All right here, go to USB drive, and then we just gonna select from the photos I got on the drive. I think I want to use this one right here. So I'm gonna click that. I'm gonna click this button right here. Golly. I mean, it don't wanna work with me, is that what it is? Hold on real quick. We gonna hold it. We gonna hit this. What I did was I held that right there and I'm gonna hit set picture as, and then we're gonna go to wallpaper. Then you can go ahead and crop it to the way you like. Want it just like that. Then click OK. And now you're in the game. See, look, there we go. And it's just that simple, bro. It's just that simple. And it's fire, too. Now I'm going to show y'all the start up video when I uh, start up the car. Um, Cause I know y'all can barely hear it. I turned the volume up this time. Cause I know y'all can barely hear the first start of video. But all right, here we go. And that's it right there. But let me show y'all a few more things behind the hack real quick. It's like a lot of stuff you can do up there. Go out there again. See, let me show y'all this app real quick. I had downloaded this off here. I downloaded this. It's like YouTube. You can watch videos and whatnot. Sometimes it don't be working though. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. <clears throat> and then I got, um, I know y'all see I got Chrome up there. 
good to go. It jumped really slow. I, I like I said, the more code and stuff you put up here, it's gonna go slow. But it's like a lot of apps you can download. You can download Netflix and things like that. But with Google apps like this, and like with YouTube, the real YouTube app, you gotta download like all these Google extensions, and that's gonna take up a lot of space. Man, I like that they got up here. I really don't know how to use it to be honest, but so you can use this right here. When you go to fake parking status, it lets you see your backup camera without being like in reverse. So you can always view that whenever you want. And then you can turn this off right here. I really hated this. So you know, when you're in reverse or when you like stopping how your music turned down, your volume turned down, you can turn that off right there. You can show your battery voltage. I did that once, but it was like messing up because I had got a new battery and whatnot. So I just turned that off. You can turn off your seatbelt alarm, low voltage alarm, handbrake alarm. It's a lot of things you can do in here. I'm gonna click on the same thing. I'm tripping. Navigation settings. This is this can show your navigation and like when you're using the GPS, when you got a turn coming up or whatever, it'll show up right here and it'll show up up there. So that's pretty cool. And then yeah, this got a whole bunch of other things up there. I don't really use too much. I just wanted the startup video and the uh, background, but here go your steering wheel controls and whatnot. You can add all the stuff you want. And yeah, that's basically all I got though, but I like Honda Hack and I got Honda Hack Pro. So yeah, bro, if y'all want Honda Hack, bro, if you have any trouble installing it, just let me know. I can tell you how to do it. Just let me know in the comments. That being said, that's all I got for y'all boys today, man. And I'm out. Before I let y'all go though, remember to like, comment subscribe and share this video bro i appreciate y'all for watching depot on the beat